Welcome to Kwan's Corner. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make denjangjigae, Korean soybean stew. Let's get started! What the heck? <laughs> Show the me! Annyeong, chingudu. Are you guys ready to cook? It's been a minute since our last cooking video because we've been trying so many different things. But today, we're going back to basics. We're gonna be cooking one of Korea's most popular dishes, denjangjigae, which is a soybean stew. It's basically Korean miso soup, but there are a lot of vegetables and meat. So it's very filling and delicious. I made a complex denjangjigae recipe when I first started YouTube. And you can see here. But today, we are gonna be making one of the simplest recipes that I know. So let's get started! Okay, this recipe is very fast and simple. So we are gonna go a little fast. So first, get a zucchini and cut it into half. And cut the edges and quarter and cut it into one centimeter thick slices like half moon shape and put to the side next get an onion and we're gonna slice it into half and another half and we're gonna slice thickly try to make it same size as your zucchini and put to the side next we need two spicy pepper denjangjigae doesn't need to be spicy but I like to make my food spicy so I'm using two spicy pepper so if you don't like spicy food make sure to use one or none so cut the stem and slice thinly and put to the side now we are going to prepare our tofu. Get a carton of firm tofu. I'm using 300 grams of firm tofu. Open it up and drain the water. Every Korean likes their tofu a little different. But I like my tofu to be a little thick. So we are going to slice it like this. Usually people like to cut their tofu a little like this. But I like to feel the texture of tofu, so I cut it really big. So put to the side. That's it. Time to cook. Get a deep set pot or pan and three cups of water. This is enough for two to three people. And turn your stove on high heat. And we're gonna add all of our zucchini and all the onion, half of the spicy pepper. 2 tablespoons of soybean paste This is the key ingredient for this recipe Denjang, which is Korean soybean paste If you want to use the exactly same brand, I put the link down below Next, we need half a tablespoon of minced garlic Half a tablespoon of fish sauce Half a tablespoon of beef dashida, which is a beef stock powder and a quarter teaspoon of MSG and bring to a boil I usually make this dish for dinner before I go to climbing because I don't really have a time to cook and this dish usually only takes like a 10 to 15 minutes it doesn't take longer than 15 minutes So, if you want to eat Korean food, and if you don't have a time, this recipe is perfect for you. We're gonna take our soybean paste in our spoon, press it down to dissolve in our soup. Once it's fully dissolved, we're gonna have a taste. Ooh, I didn't even put anything, but it tastes super good. I like it already. If it is too salty, add a little more water. And if it is too bland, add a little more soybean paste. And once it's boiling, we're gonna turn the stove off. This part is very unnecessary. I'm using tukbegi to make better thumbnails. So you can just skip this part. Add your tofu. And we're gonna add thinly sliced beef brisket and the rest of your spicy peppers after boiling for two more minutes turn your stove off ta-da! that's it 
our denjang chicken is all ready to eat. Eating time, let's see. Mmm. So good. Since I cut the tofu really big, I can feel the texture of tofu so well. It's so tangle tangle and malang malang like a super tender. It melts in my mouth. Mm. The flavor starts off like miso soup, but there are so many vegetables and meat. It's not really miso soup at all. It's a very hearty and thick stew. We use the same beef as a shabu shabu, so it's super tender and juicy. This is one of my favorite stews, so you should definitely try. That's it for today's episode, and if you liked it, please hit the like and subscribe button because that will help my channel a lot. And make sure to share with your family and friends. Thank you to my Patreon, Mekanome, Christos, Jackie, Nancy, Samantha, Shanet, Miss Cheshire, Spencer, Gia, Joey, Sue, Lexi, Mr. Mrs. Gavin. Thank you so much for helping me to make bigger and better content. See you next week. Annyeong! If you like this episode, please hit the like and the subscribe button. And if you want to see more video, it's over there and over there. And if you have any requests, please comment down below. Then I'll make sure to cover it in a future episode. See you next week. Annyeong!